Hello and welcome to What the Flick. Alonzo Duraldi from therap.com and Linoleum Knife Podcast. And our special guest, Gray Drake from uh, RottenTomatoes.com. Uh, Matt, Ben, and Christy don't love you anymore. <laughs> no, they're just not here this week. Uh, so, big new trailer, Baz Luhrmann's The Great Gatsby in 3D. Oh my God, I forgot it was in 3D. Oh yeah, uh. because Baz Luhrmann in 2D wasn't Baz Luhrmann enough. <laughs> so anyway, feast your eyes on this. No time. Can't you see who this guy is? With his house, his parties, and his fancy clothes. Shirts in 3D. <laughs> pearls. Shirts, pearls. And, and screaming. And, and black jazz musicians <laughs> drinking champagne in roadsters. And, and nothing in this movie is real, and it feels like it. Uh, yeah, that's that's the thing that's kind of worrying me. This, this feels like less like it was based on you know, the Scott Fitzgerald novel and more that it was based on uh, uh, Puff Daddy's house in the Hamptons. <laughs> Uh, you know, I don't I mean, it's, it's, I'm gonna go to this with an open mind and, and Lorman, every time I think it's not gonna work, he pulls it off somehow right. for me. I, I do I, like Unless you're movies. watching Australia. Even Australia, I think it's like three movies sort of chunked right. together in a way that doesn't quite work, but you know. Still, <laughs> I forgot that he directed this mm. and was watching it within the first 20 seconds was like, oh my God, it looks like somebody's ripping off Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> And so that disturbs me a little bit that um, he is, he just seems to be returning to something he did really, really well in the 90s. Mm. Using the same kind of like modern music sure. for the old school movie. But like you said, if anybody can do it, I guess it's him. And I want this movie to be really good. And I want to watch Leonardo DiCaprio in more suits. <laughs> and by the way, I want to point out the most spectacular moment in the trailer is the Joel Edgerton, hold on a second, <laughs> meaningful leg cross. With polo boots on. <laughs> I love that. So, I mean, out of the whole thing, I'm like, I don't care, I don't care about any of the roadsters, I don't care about the slow-mo, I just want that leg cross. <laughs> well, I'm sure we'll get plenty of it. <laughs> plenty and, of that. And, uh, that and Toby Maguire narrating everything in oh. the flat, Toby Maguire. But you know, when Nick Carraway is a thankless role, because you really are, even in the book, he's the narrator. Like, he's just there yeah. to kind of tell the story. I don't, do we really want Toby Maguire narrating things? Because honest to God, I don't know how old he is, but he still sounds like he's like a 15 year old. Like, you know, he's kind of like, oh, and then he has all the shirts. Well, and... pretend you're in AP English, you know, and the one guy got picked to do Aww. the reading out loud. Uh, and then there's Carrie Mulligan, who I'm kind of over her at this point, I have oh. to say. I liked her in education, and then in everything since then, I think she's kind of blank, and I think that that, that if you're gonna be that kind of actress, maybe, maybe Daisy Buchanan is not the role for you because she's already kind of a blank, so it's either gonna, right. be, it's either gonna be perfect or too much too nothing, much. you know? Yeah, so really, I think what's come out of this trailer the most for me mm -hmm. is I have no idea how this movie's gonna be. <laughs> even less than yeah. before I had even seen anything. We do, however, know that there's a song that says, I see the green light, I see the green light. It's like, oh, come on. Central no. question, mm. is the movie going to be as vapid as the lyrics to that song? <laughs> Let's hope not. I hope that when I see it, I'm overwhelmed by how awesomely intense and meaningful it is because mm -hmm. sometimes trailers can't do movies no, like this justice. Absolutely. And 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 frankly, I you know, if it weren't for this gig, I try to avoid watching trailers whenever possible. I don't yes. like to see them, I don't like to know. I love my favorite thing in the world is that rare time that you can walk into a movie and be like, I don't know who, I don't know what this is about, I don't know who's in it. What do you got? Right. You know, and that's next to impossible to right. get away with the way they market this stuff these days. So, you know, I'm, I'm keeping an open mind. I could see where this could totally work, but it's either going to be great or a disaster. I can't see a middle ground on this movie. <laughs> right. <laughs> yes. But as long as Beyonce is playing in the background, who cares? Yeah, hold on. Hold on. Here we go. Cross that leg. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Joel Edgerton. <laughs> All for, right. For being an awesome MMA like kickboxing <laughs> badass, and then that's where he learned his leg crossing technique was while making Warrior. <laughs> he get you get so much flexibility in your hip joints. <laughs> all right, Great Gatsby opens in early May. We'll all find out then what's going on. So.